Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a powerful search and replace in IntelliJ IDEA. Coming up! I would like to show you the most advanced uh, search that IntelliJ supports, uh, which is called Search Structurally. And you basically access it by, you know, for example, in the Find Action, you just type Search uh, Structurally. And um, this st uh, way to search is basically looking for patterns um, in the code that match a, a, a template. So one nice, and obviously you can restrict the scope by project, module, directory, and scope, or also by file type. And you come here to the existing templates and you select a um, template that you want. So the way the templates are, are, are organized or categorized is by language and then, you know, user defined. And within uh, Java, they are categorized by class-based comments, expressions, generics, and so on. You have all these categories. And if you expand those, then you see the actual template um, definition that matches that. So if I were to, for example, search for linear classes that are used in this project, I will select this template and I would find an IntelliJ. And then, you know, I have this preview window here and then I can just go from, you know, result to result to find all the inner, uh, you know, types within the project. So that's basically using, you know, an off-the-shelf and existing template. One nice thing that IntelliJ supports is the ability for you to define your own user templates. And one simple way to do that is to basically work off of an existing one and just customize it. For example, uh, there is this template here, try statement without resources and catch blocks that I can use. And again, I'll just look for the usage of that. And, um, you know, these are the usages. As you can see, you can go back to the results and, um, you know, go over them. So, um, one thing that you can do is obviously modify these templates. Um, and create what's called a user-defined template. So for example, one very useful template that you can use is search for, um, you know, swallowed exceptions. That is, um, try catch blocks where the uh, catch block doesn't have, uh, it's empty, which is obviously a bad thing to do. So let's modify this template, save it as a user-defined template and use it on the structural search and see if we can find in this large code base such cases. So um, one thing, so first thing we do here is then the filter. Um, let's leave it one to infinity. And here let's remove this catch statement because that's basically what we're trying to find. Let's save this as a, um, our wonderful template. Let's just call it empty um, catch blocks or exception, exception empty catch block. And um, let's keep the scope and let's search. Let's close this first and let's search and see what we can find. Okay, so let's collapse and it looks like we have here 23 matches for um, swallowed exceptions. Uh, let's see. So we have one here, another one here. Wonderful, another one here. Okay. You can obviously, you know, do much more uh, customizations. Um, you know, just play with it again, gum here go to existing templates and pick anything that you find useful and customize it to your own needs. And then, you know, the exception comes here. The user defined exception is going to be here in this, uh, under this tab. So lastly, one thing that you can do is you can convert these into a uh, replace. You know, what we could do here for these would be to you know, catch these cases and, um, you know, I don't know, just do, um, you know, a print stack trace or logging or what have you, something like that. So, if we, and then they give you the result and you could just replace this. And so on. 
This concludes the video on the powerful structural research and replace in IntelliJ IDEA. Thanks for watching. Take care. Ciao.